Exactly. Exactly, Deborah. You know exactly where I'm coming from here, okay? So I looked at him dead in the eye, and I said, I'm not paying for this spaghetti, okay? It's drier than my grandmama's back. You know what I did. I stood up and I walked out, didn't give him a penny. I never pay for something that I'm not satisfied with. You remember that about me, okay? Ah, you know, linguini. I wouldn't even feed my dog that food. <laughs> hey. How are you doing? It's good to see you, Deborah. What are you doing there just standing like a bag of meatballs? It's our favorite customer. It's good to see you. It's been a while, huh? Bring it in. Oh. <laughs> Put her there, then. There you go. So, uh, what are we looking for today, huh? Something quick. Something clean. Something to make you look like a million bucks, huh? Deborah, what did I say? You bring our guest a drink, huh? What can I get you? Dr. Pepper? Sprite? Coca-Cola? Water? Come on, you're in my shop. I gotta get you something, huh? Water. Deborah, you find the finest water we got back there and you bring it to our store tonight, huh? You look great. So how about we uh, get started, huh? You just want a nice little scissor cut? I know exactly what to get you. You can put it down right there, Deborah. Disappear. Sorry about that. Uh, you've been growing these locks out for a while. It's been a while since I've seen you, so... How about I reintroduce you to my friends? Bada bing. And my other friends. Bada boom. These two babies are gonna make you walk out of here like you own the place. Alright. Got myself a nice little new cologne I got you too. And a nice little uh, moisturizer on your face. How's that sound? Perfect. We're going for the executive cut today. Don't worry about the price. Price doesn't matter here at Rico's. Because you can just own me. Cover those beautiful eyes of yours. with the wet base. We gotta make sure the hair is nice and wet for us to be able to cut with precision. Let the water fall. Let the water fall on your face. Just relax. drowned you there. Sorry about that one. Gotta make sure we get that one done. But hey, now that you're all nice and wet in the hair, let's go ahead and get cutting. Gonna bring out my boy. I'm gonna bring out my other boy. Let's go ahead and start with this one right here. Bada bing, bada boom. So, Talk to me. How's everything been? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what you mean. It's like do your own laundry, you know what I'm saying? Short bang. What kind of bitterty bang do you want? Forget about it. I got you. Okay. You're looking good, looking good. What about the, the family back home? How are they doing? Beautiful. Uh, my family's doing great. Yeah, thanks for asking. Just got the boy a new car. Nothing too fancy. Tesla Model X. 
That's all I could afford at the time. I didn't get paid. I had to pay with whatever was in my pocket. You know how it is. The struggle. for work now. Okay. That sounds fun. And the papa business is doing good, but uh, I should say my side job, the thing I got going on behind the scenes, behind the doors back there, that's been doing great. Splendid. Okay. I'm telling you, this shop is like a second home for me, but the home I got back home makes this place look like a Shake Shack. God, pardon me about the linguini boy over there. That doggy loves his water. Hey, linguini. Hey, linguini. Mr. Water Boy over there, are you almost done drinking? Don't be coughing up. Don't be. Don't be coughing up all the water on my carpet there, Linguini. Terribly sorry, how unprofessional of me to let my dog be chugging some water while I have a, a customer here. It's going back to bed now. Okay. Nah, it's no biggie. Linguini likes to hang around the shop, eat up the hairs. He's coughing up hairballs left and right. Okay. Now that my pupper's asleep, uh, maybe we can talk business, huh? Yeah, I've been uh, meaning to talk to you about doing a job from here. No, you're not interested. That's okay. I understand this business could get a little, uh, a little too dangerous sometimes for some people. You don't need to know exact specifics of what I'm doing behind the scenes, but uh, maybe you can come over for dinner sometime. Just gonna thin you out now, just thin out the hairs. Yeah, yeah, you can come on down. I got a real nice place, like I said. I can invite my mama over. Hmm? My mama, my papa. Can do whatever we want. Because I'm telling you, a dinner at my place would change your life. Spaghetti? My mama makes a spaghetti that don't even need the sauce, okay? Meatball's so juicy, it's almost like you're taking a shot of grease. No, 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 no. I know it sounds nasty now, but you try it, and you're hooked. Hell, I visit her for a weekend, I gain 20 pounds coming back. about this, huh? What about a beard? You wanna, you wanna shave all this? You wanna get this out of the way? Got some pricklies going on. You wanna keep it? Okay. You do you. Not up to me. Let's get some more water on. That's 
looking real good, real classy. Mm -hmm. I know you gotta be places. I gotta be places too. We're closing up soon. Glad you were able to come by. Oh, one second. Sorry about that. Hey, Tony. How you doing? Nah, I'm not busy. Nah, I'm just cutting my final customer's hair. He said what? How do you get a reservation at Dorsey at 8 p.m.? Hmm? Friday night? How do you swing that? Nah, nah, you tell Patrick he doesn't have to worry about it. You, this, this Paul guy. How do you get that? Just makes me angry. These people think they can walk all over us with their money. Oh, don't worry, you're, you're safe. <laughs> I'll pay attention to you. I got my eye on you. Hey, Deborah. Deborah. Don't worry, you're completely safe. I've been doing this for years. Tony, I'm gonna make a reservation. See if I can get it at the same time. Deborah. Alright, 8 p.m. You meet Patrick. Well, you don't need to invite him. I'll invite who I want. Yeah, last time he ate all the biscuits. Well, maybe I want a biscuit, Tony. Ordering all the sides and the appetizers. Not even paying his fair share. Give me a reservation, Dorcia. 8 p.m. this Friday. I don't care. Do it. Alright, Tony. I gotta go. Gotta finish up this haircut. Okay. Hasta la vista, baby. No, it's from a movie. The Terminator. Sorry about that. I gotta take care of some uh, official business. People on your territory, sometimes they don't know exactly where they're going. Whether they cross the line, whether they're peeping their nose in places it shouldn't be. Sometimes you gotta remind them, this ain't free real estate. These streets don't just belong to anyone. They belong to Rico. And Rico's razors, of course. shorter on the sides or did you want to keep it long on top what do you what do you want to do at this point now mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. we got that look pretty much going for you already we can uh tweak it up a bit on the sides maybe go a bit shorter how's that sound perfect we're gonna go for a double entendre, super fast storm of cutting. Okay? You just lay back, close your eyes, let Rico do his work. Sweep up the hairs. Don't get the good broom, get the bad broom. We're saving that one. When we get busy.
just the way I like it. You're looking like a million bucks. Let me just style it a bit. Okay. We're gonna finish you up with the messy look today, huh? Make sure you're satisfied with the style before you get a look at it. There you go. Forget about it. You don't know nothing about styles if you don't like this one. Okay. Feast your eyes on my masterpiece. Mirror right over there. Huh? What we think? You're gonna be pulling every single person at the clubs. They won't, uh, be overlooking you. I got you. Don't worry. I'm gonna finish it up with the executive touch toy, you know? That's why I got this baby. This right here is pheromones of a panther. A black panther. Okay, there's a name for this. I totally forgot, but I do know something. 60% of the time, it works every time. Spray here, spray there, and they'll be coming crawling towards you. Don't believe me. You're going out tonight. Check this out. I'll cover you on that. Make it look good. Give it a smell, give it a whiff. What do you think, huh? Now that, that's class. That's fancy. Oh, I understand your skin feels a bit dry. Getting it all wet with the spritz. I got you. I got something special here. Formula of mine. It's gonna keep your skin nice and hydrated. Okay. One bump, two bump, three bump. And you're good. Just a nice little massage onto the skin there. That's all you need. Go throw on. I'm gonna let this dry on there for about two minutes and I'm gonna ask you to go to the bathroom, wash it off your face and you're good to go. Linguini is one thirsty doggy tonight. <laughs> Terribly sorry if he's interrupting uh, your relaxing hair cutting session. And dog doesn't know when to quit. We got those massaged right into your pores, into your body. Before you go, I'm gonna have to give you the price of your haircut, okay? On your way out, you can wash it off your face. But today, you're gonna owe me three million dollars. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Listen. I just gave you Rico's executive haircut. And if you think you're getting out of here with just $20 and a $5 tip, you gotta be joking me. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue to owe me. I cut your hair, keep you looking good, and you do as I say and go where I need you. This town is mine, and no one's gonna be stopping me. I'm in too deep, and now, so are you. Got a couple odd jobs for you. Wash your face, see Deborah on your way out. I have a feeling I'll be seeing you very, very soon. Oh, rigato, honey. What are you doing here? I said go. Wash your face. Get out of my shop. And please. Don't forget to.
to smile because that's what it's all about <sighs> we have to expand this shop make it bigger <laughs>